Hey everyone, uh, sorry, still not on camera. This is a bit of a late night video. Uh, my new monitor did arrive today, uh, so that's kind of a nice update on uh, a little thing I mentioned this morning. I was waiting for it most of the day. Uh, it's here, it's installed, everything's looking good. I'll probably show you guys uh, my overall setup here uh, coming up here in maybe next week or so. I have to uh, make some adjustments, do some cleaning, um, do some changes to the set. So for now, you're going to get a little voiceover work, which is fine. It kind of feels nice going back to the AT. Uh, 2035s. I haven't used these mics in quite some time, and they're really, really nice microphones. So, we have an update on the Nintendo 64 and Mega Drive slash Genesis um, stuff being added to Nintendo Switch Online. Now, you'll note that I've obviously been highly critical of the Nintendo Switch Online expansion pack pretty much since it was announced, um, mostly because the price point to me is still pretty ridiculous. I know, I understand your guys' justification sometimes. Uh, but I, I just, it's sorry. To me, it's not a good value. That being said, we also had an update video this morning uh, that talked about some bugs and issues with the N64 games. But now we have a bit more of a positive note because obviously not everything can be bad, can it? Of course not. And this appears to be at least a good look for Nintendo Switch Online. Now that the apps are out, they have been officially data mined. And data mines are some of the best sort of leaks that we can get. Um, and it's because data mines are working with fact-based information. They're not working with, you know, presumptions and all that. So this is a rumor, but it's also a bit of a duh. We already know they're adding more games. So duh. But now we know how many games and we actually know what some of the games are. So this is exciting. Let's get into it. As I remind you, we do have some giveaways going on. Uh, head down to the description, click some links, all that jazz. We also have some bigger giveaways happening later this holiday season. Be sure to be subscribed to enter those giveaways because I we we got some we got some great stuff. We can hit eighty thousand subscribers before the end of this year. Let's just say uh, I'm going to be a pretty happy guy. Let's get into the news, shall we? So, again, we're back here at Nintendo Life, uh, and their article says, Rumor Switch Online data mine uncovers plans for at least 38 N64 games and 52 Sega Genesis titles, which is two more than the actual collection pack on Switch. Um, it says, Nintendo yesterday launched its expansion pack service for Switch Online. It contains nine N64 titles and 14 Sega Genesis Mega Drive games. So, I, in, Genesis is basically US only. It's Mega Drive everywhere else. So, what's on the horizon beyond these initial offerings? While Nintendo has teased a handful of upcoming games for the N64 service in the near future, like The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask and F-Zero X, there is apparently a lot more on the way. According to data miner Mondo Mega, there's at least 38 N64 games and 52 Sega Genesis games. So um, here is what, what he says about stuff here from Nintendo. Initial data mining from the N64 app is somewhat fruitful. Going by the game IDs, there's at least 38 N64 titles planned for Nintendo Switch Online. The list is alphabetical, so you can fill in some of the gaps already. 37 is Majora's Mask. 32 is Smash Bros. 33 is Wave Race. 14 to 16 are Mario Party games, etc. And then he goes on to say Mega Drive proved to be even more interesting, at least 52 there. Uh, and he does note, you know, if you're still questioning additional Nintendo Switch online platforms beyond these two, it says look at the first number of game IDs for each platform. N64 is 3, Mega Drive slash Genesis is 5. SNES was two, and NES was one. Four is obviously going to be something. We know about the Game Boy slash Game Boy Color rumors out there. You see people down here in the comments, you know, maybe considering, you know, that it might be like a Master System or Game Gear. Uh, but yeah, then they're obviously going to be adding more to the service at some point, probably next year. Uh, but let's click on some of the stuff and just get some closer details uh, into this. So here is the N64 stuff. Um, and you can just see some of the stuff in here, Dr. Mario, Mario Kart, Mario Tennis, and Punishment, etc. These are the ones we know because um, they're already out. But yeah, uh, I, I think that's pretty pretty interesting there. Um, and then uh, if we close this one up here, uh, we scroll down and see Mega Drive would be more interesting. There's at least 52 here. So that's, that, that's cool. Again, you know, you can take some guesses at what some of these numbers might be. Um, so yeah, there is... <sighs> So there's a, there's a lot to consider here. You know, you can see some of the replies to this comment. People being really excited about it. But when you think about it at the core, we're talking about 38 N64 games and 
52 Sega games. Now, when you hear that amount of games being added, you start to think, man, 30 bucks a year or, you know, what is it? Uh, $35 a year for the, or is it $45 a year for the family, family plan for a year? That actually sounds great. Of course, we don't know when we're getting these games. We know about some of the future, you know, as I said, we know Banjo Kazooie's coming. Uh, but the thing is, we don't know when we're going to get the games. We don't know how often they're going to be added. We hope for monthly editions, but we don't know. We haven't even been a month out since it launched. So we don't know if we're going to get monthly editions. And obviously, is this the complete list? Are we only getting 38 and 52? Which if we are, I mean, that's fine. That's still a good, you know, a good amount of games. Obviously, we hope that Nintendo does a better job when they bring the games over so there's less issues. And I'm aware some people pointed out that some of the issues uh, I talked about this morning are, quote unquote, not new. Uh, they were present on the Wii U Virtual Console and the Wii Virtual Console. And to that, I say, big whoop. They weren't uh, like my thing with the issues with some of the N64 games is it doesn't matter that this is the way it was before. Congratulations. That's the way it was before. You want a cookie? Seriously, you want one? I kind of do. Bottom line is, it wasn't okay then, and it's not okay now. And that means, you know, as an example, some of the issues that were present with, say, Mario Kart 64 all the way back on the Wii. It's still present over a decade later when Nintendo's had all this time to fix it. Really? That's kind of what I'm looking at here when it's like, hey, Things can be done better, but it is good. It is positive that we're going to have 38 N64 and 52 Genesis. And we already know based on Genesis games so far that there are going to be probably significantly a number of games, like a significant number of games that are going to be different from the overall Sega collection pack. So you can buy a 50 game collection pack, uh, Sega collection pack right now on the switch, but we already know based on the initial games we got, there's games in there that aren't in that pack probably going to be even more of them. And again, licensing fees, licensing fees, licensing fees. You hear about 52 Sega Genesis games, and all I think in the back of my mind is, this is why the service is so expensive, because you're getting 52 of them. And I know there's a lot of you out there that said, you know, Nintendo could solve all this if they just created a separate expansion that was just N64. And to that I say, how about no? Let's not confuse people even more. Like, I honestly think you start piecemealing this, and it just gets way way too confusing so i actually think this is pretty good news we'll have to wait and see what those 38 games are obviously we can take a, a stab at a few of them you know as i said you know smash bros and majora which we already know is coming wave race mario party etc cetera, etc cetera. so like we can figure out some of these but this is still really good news i'm really excited about what this means for the future when the whole collection is complete like right now i'm obviously not super stoked about this online expansion pack but at the end of the day, if it gets all the games on it that I want, as an example, if we get Conker's Bad Fur Day, that is something that might make me turn my head and go, hey, Conker's Bad Fur Day has a multiplayer mode, and if I get to play that online with friends, that would be awesome. And you want to know why that would be awesome? Because while we were able to go online with friends with Conker's Bad Fur Day when Xbox bought Rare and it was ported to Xbox, the problem is they completely changed the multiplayer to something else entirely. And because of that, you've never been able to experience the original multiplayer, at least in a legal way, online. So it would be cool if that could be added. Please, Microsoft and Nintendo, make it happen. That being said, I'm glad I have some positive news today. I, I, contrary to popular belief, I don't actually like being critical of companies I actually enjoy. Um, Nintendo is a company that I, I honestly... I built a whole YouTube channel around them. I've I, I built a 20 plus year career covering video games largely around Nintendo. I really enjoy their games. I typically enjoy their hardware. I even enjoyed the Wii U. Uh, and the bottom line is I don't like having to say negative things. I wish the news was always positive, but I'm also a gamer first. And since I'm a gamer first, I feel like I need to be critical at times and call things out. I'm not going to apologize for it. In fact, I think everybody should be willing to criticize the company. Maybe you didn't want to criticize for Nintendo Switch Online pricing, and you didn't want to criticize for the bugs and, and all that stuff with the games. That's fine. If that stuff doesn't matter to you, fine. But I hope you're critical of Nintendo in other ways. 
that does matter to you. There, there are things I'm not critical about with Nintendo because there are things that don't matter to me. Uh, but there are lots of things I am critical about. As an example, I hate that there's voice chat through a phone app. Why can't we do that locally on our system with paid games? Like we pay money for this, and yet the free games have better voice chat. Why, you know, have better messaging systems? Messaging isn't even part of the Switch. So, yeah, I, I just think that Nintendo has some areas that they could really, really work on. And I'm not even talking about new hardware. This is just talking about basic feature sets that are present on pretty much everything else. And you might say, well, everything else has it. Nintendo doesn't need it. It's convenience. Yeah, I can talk on Discord through my phone. But when I'm playing PC games, guess what I'm talking on Discord through? On my PC. Because that's what makes sense. When I'm playing games on my Xbox and I'm talking to a buddy on Xbox, I'm not loading up Discord on my PC or my phone to talk to them. We're just using the Xbox party chat with a headset. Like, these are just basic things that just make gaming more convenient. And I really hope Nintendo wraps their mind around. But hey, this is good news. I'm really excited to see what these games are because, hey man, N64 and Genesis, that's like my heyday as a child before I fully entered high school. Like, those, that's my heyday of gaming. Uh, when I had the most time, the most free time to game. Uh, so there's a lot of, of love I have for that era from both PC, Sega, Nintendo, and even PlayStation 1. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to uh, what is going to be added here. And hopefully a bunch of my favorite games get in uh, for my sake. But maybe you have your own favorite games into ones. In fact, let me know what game currently not announced for both the Genesis slash Mega Drive and the N64 for this online service that you would like to see. I can tell you right now. One not announced for Genesis I want to see is Rampart. One announced for N64 is obviously Honkers Bad Fur Day. Uh, so those are kind of the two that aren't announced now that I would really like to see happen. Um, GoldenEye as well, obviously. I think GoldenEye goes without saying. I don't know if Nintendo can work out the licensing for that. They are miracle workers. But hey, you know what? We did get Sora in Smash, so anything is possible. All right, folks, I am Nintendo RoboChance from Nintendo Prime. Thank you so much for tuning in. Woo, you got a double dose of videos today. One early, one late. Maybe we do one early, one late, one in the middle of tomorrow. I have no idea. We have the podcast coming this week, tomorrow. Lots of fun. You guys are awesome, and I'll catch you in the next video.